So let's come to a comfortable seat. Palms onto your thighs. Side body long, broaden up your shoulders. Then feel that nice gentle shift of your shoulders stacking right above your hips. Just let's just pause here in stillness in your space, eyes closed. Long inhale and exhalation through your nose. And you can come into your ujjayi breath if that's in your practice. And trying to maintain this evenness of your breath throughout your whole practice. On your next exhalation, slowly open your eyes. Let's take an inhale, sweep your arms up towards the ceiling, hugging the biceps by your ears. Exhale, let's twist to the right. Take your left hand outside of your right thigh. Just stay on your fingertips on your right hand on the back of your mat. Push into that right thigh with your left hand, look over your right shoulder, keeping both sit bones grounded. Nice, take an inhale, come back up. Exhale, twist to the left. Left fingertips walk way back oh, to the back of your left hip, right hand over your left thigh, push and look and twist. Inhale, coming back to center. Nice, exhale, let's sweep the hands down. Let's turn your fingertips to the front of your mat, place it behind your hips. Let your little finger touch the side of your mat. From that, I want you to roll the shoulders back, lift the heart center towards your ceiling, press your shoulders down, heart center lifted, gaze up. And if you feel you want to go a little bit deeper, you can lift the hips, press your knees and your shin onto your mat, lift your hips up, lift the chest up. Exhale, slowly lower the hips back down if you are lifting it. Let's roll onto your knees, let's come to your tabletop. Bring your hands to the top of your mat, spreading your fingers wide, aiming for your index middle finger pointing to the front. Let's have your knees right below your hips, curl your toes under. Full exhalation here. Take an inhale, sink the belly down, lift the heart center, gaze up. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest. Inhale, belly down, lift the heart center to your cow pose. Exhale, round. Two more, inhale, lift the heart center, gazing up. Exhale, round. One more, inhale, belly down, lifting the heart center. Exhale, round. Now inhale, flatten the back, keep the core engaged. Now curl your toes, so let's lift the knees up. And let's come to your downward dog. Let's take this first downward dog. Take a few breaths. Maybe pedal into your heels. Maybe moving into the side of your body. Into your hips. Nice. From here, let's find stillness in your dog. So now let's work it to stretch both legs evenly. Wrap your triceps more towards the mat. So externally rotating into your shoulders. Now if you're working with tight hips or hamstrings, feel free to soften your knees. That will just give you a little bit more gift into lengthening the side of your body, softening the chest to the floor. Take a full breath in here. Exhale, let's bring your feet together. Now take an inhale, I want you to keep your heels chest down hips at your highest point float your heels and stack it over your toes take an inhale let's lift the right leg up three-legged dog exhale come forward bring the shoulders over your wrist bring your knee to your nose inhale leg up now let's open the hip let's bend the heel so feel the twist from your oblique but square your shoulders to the floor so bring that right shoulder back down but lifting that right thigh pointing that right knee up towards the ceiling Nice, exhale, come forward, bring your knee to your nose. From there, stay here, just step back your right leg to your high plank. From here, knees to the floor, shoulders over your wrist, bend the elbows, bring your chest down between your thumbs. 
slide forward flatten everything out let's take your cobra lifting the heart center exhale curl the toes under lift the hips up downward dog walk your feet together and then inhale float the heels up left leg goes up exhale come forward carry the knee to your nose bring the shoulders over your wrist inhale leg up open the hip same thing twisting from the oblique square the shoulders bring the left shoulder square back to the mat lift that left thigh up from there exhale come forward knee to your nose stay in your plank inhale plank bring your knees down to the floor bend the elbows chest and chin down slide forward lift the heart center let's take your cobra exhale curl the toes under downward dog walk your feet together inhale float the heels up let's lift the right leg up three-legged dog exhale knee to your nose step your right foot between your hands let's bring your back knee to the floor flatten the foot lift the arms now draw your hips forward let it go down heavy to your mat turn your palms outwards as you exhale sweep your hands backwards like doing a backstroke then bring your palms to your butt cheek roll the shoulders back squeeze the elbows in together at the back then let the hips use your palms to push that hip lead both hips forward left thigh heavy to the floor and just gaze diagonally outwards full breath in exhale inhale from there pausing exhale let's take your left hand to the floor take your right hand up open your chest to the right side of your mat exhale take your right hand down lift the hips up downward dog walk your feet together inhale lift the heels let's float your left leg up exhale bring your knees to your nose and step your left foot forward right knee down flatten the foot now make sure that your fingertips and your toe line is in the straight line lift the sorry bring the hips down lift the arms up exhale lift the heart center turn your palms up circle your arms back Bring your palms back to your butt cheek. Use the palms. Lead the hips forward. Right thigh heavy to the floor. Now roll the shoulders back. Squeeze the elbows in at the back. Lift the heart center. Gaze diagonally outwards. One more full breath in. Exhale. Inhale, release the hands. Bring your hands back to the floor. Lift your left hand up. Open the chest to the left exhale take your left hand to the floor step back again downward dog inhale come to your plank pausing here exhale round into your upper back one more full breath in exhale gently knees to the floor bend the elbows chest and chin down slide forward lift the heart center take your cobra or your up dog exhale curl the toes under downward dog Let's lift the heels, keep the butt as high as you can, bend the knees, bring your belly closer to your thigh. Look forward, step or walk all the way to the top of your mat. Take a forward fold. Now bring your feet hip width or a little bit wider, still aiming for your second toe to point straight to the front. Hanging down heavy like a rag doll, take your hands, holding opposite elbow to elbow, and then let your forearms way down towards the mat like heavy anchors working with tight hamstrings soften your knees those of you who want to take it further straighten your legs more pushing the back of your knees to the back of your mat relax your head between your arms and then stay as you are or you can just slowly carry your torso to the right nice slow pendulum movement to the left come back over to the right and to the left one more inhale over to the right exhale come over to the left inhale come back to center pause exhale release your hands to the floor keep your hands just hanging down loosely to your mat inhale slowly rolling up from your lower back mid back upper back opening up the shoulders and the heart center and let's bring your feet now hip width apart 
second toe to the front remember pull the belly button in let's walk the tailbone down to your mat inhale lift the arms up exhale take a forward fold inhale lift up halfway exhale now ground the palms to the floor let's step back to your plank stay here we take a vinyasa knees chest chin half or your full chaturanga that's your option slide forward lift the heart center cobra or your up dog Exhale, curl the toes under downward dog. Let's bring your feet together. Inhale, lift the heels, stack the heels over your toes. Let's float the right leg up. Exhale, knee to your right elbow, come forward. Inhale, lift the right leg up. Exhale, knee to your left elbow, take your twist. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your right foot between your hands. Carry, walk it forward to reach to your fingertip line if it hasn't. Inhale, lift the arms up. So full crescent lunge, your back heel is lifted. Try to lift the back heel even higher. Sing the hips down. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Now exhale, lean forward. Take your left hand inside of your right foot. Let's take your right hand up towards the sky. Open your chest, simple twist. Exhale, now bring your right hand inside of your left hand sorry of your right heel ground that left heel back like a warrior two take your side angle pose so right fingertips inside of your right heel push against that shin too much bring your forearm to your thigh from there axle bring your both hands down walk it to the center of your mat uh, sorry to the left side of your mat turn your ten toes in from there Lift the heart center, flatten the back. Exhale, let's fold towards your mat. Then see if you can walk your fingertips in line with your toes, right below, right between your legs. Lengthen the torso down, crown of the head reaching towards the mat. One more full breath in. Exhale. Nice. Inhale, lift the heart center, flatten the back, bring your hands back under your chest. Now walk to the back of your mat, bring your right knee to the floor. So now you're facing the back direction, just listen to my voice. Inhale, lift the arms up, crescent lunge. Uh, sorry, crescent moon, back knee on the floor. Exhale, hands down, move your hips back, straighten your left leg. Take your half Hanumanasana, stretching out into your left hamstring. Peel the left toes up, lift the chest, lengthen. Exhale, let's fall towards your left shin. One more full breath in, exhale, now inhale, move the weight back forward, curl your right foot under, lift the knee up, ground that back heel, so now as your right heel down, we come up warrior two, facing the back of your mat, left knee bend, right leg straight, wrap your right hand in front of your waist, left hand reach up, let's take your reverse warrior, looking down to your right foot which is to the front of your mat direction nice inhale slowly come back to your warrior two now slide your left foot all the way in carry your left leg up and come to your tree pose so left heel inside of your right thigh take your hands to the back finding and holding opposite elbow to elbow soften the rib cage towards the back direction maybe stay here or just lift the gaze up towards the ceiling keep the core engaged peel sorry not peel pull the belly button in gaze up for three for two for one now just straight to the torso bring your hands to your heart center turn that left knee to your front of your body take your right hand outside of your left thigh reach your left hand to the back so take a twist for three, for two, for one, slowly release the leg, step it down, feet together, you're still facing the left side of your mat, lift the arms up, exhale, bring your hands to prayer, now you take your left elbow and twist and bring it over in front of your right, outside of your right thigh into a twisted seated chair pose, so now you're facing the front of your mat. Stay here, full breath in, exhale, one more in breath, exhale, 
Turn to the front of your mat, bring your palms down, step back to your plank. Bring your knees to the floor, bend the elbows, or take your half of full chaturanga. Slide forward, take your cobra or your up dog. Exhale, curl the toes under, downward dog. Feet together, inhale, let's lift the, both heels up. Left leg goes up. Exhale, knee to your left elbow. Inhale, leg up. Knee to your right elbow. Inhale, leg up. Knee to your nose. Step your left foot between your hands. Keep your back heel lifted, full crescent lunge, Anjaniasana. Exhale, lean forward, take your right hand down inside of your left foot. Let's reach your left hand up. Exhale, bring your left hand inside of your left heel. Ground your right heel down like a warrior two. Side angle pose, reach your right hand up. Too much left forearm to your thigh. Nice, exhale, let's bring your hands down. We walk it to the center of your hips. Turn your 10 toes to point the right side of your mat. Lift the heart center, flatten the back up. Exhale, folding down towards your mat. Option, walk your hands in line with your toes. Take it further. Index and middle finger grabbing into your big toes. Exhale, bend the elbows outwards, away from each other. Lengthen the torso down to your mat. Full breath in. Exhale. Nice. Inhale, lift the heart center. Bring your hands back right below your chest. Walk yourself all the way to the back of your mat. Point all your toes to the back of your mat. Bring your back knee to the floor. Flatten the foot. Then let's shift the hips above your back knee. Straighten your right leg. Half Hanumanasana. Exhale, folding down to your right leg. Stretching out into your hamstring. Peel your right toes up higher. Feel the right toes reaching towards your head direction. For three, two, three. One, inhale, lift the heart center. Let's move the weight back forward. Keep the back knee to the floor. Lift the arms up, crescent moon. Exhale, bring your hands to the floor. Curl your back foot up, back knee up. Turn the left heel down, warrior two, right leg bend facing the back of your mat. Take your left hand across in front of your waist, right hand up. Turn your gaze to your left foot, which is at the front of your mat. Lean to the back. Reverse warrior. Nice. Inhale, slowly come back up. Warrior two. From there, oh, what happened here? Hmm. Let's, <laughs> let's come back up. Oh, yes. Let's slide your right leg all the way up. Let's take your tree pose. Ooh, forgot a little bit for a while. Take your hands now. Bend the elbow. Lift the arms above your head. Bend the elbows, touching opposite elbow to elbow above your head. Now, soften the ribcage lower back towards your back direction. Stay here or push your thigh hip forward, lean back. Maybe gaze up towards the ceiling into a gentle back bend for three, two, one. Straighten the torso. Turn your right knee in front of your hip. Take your left hand outside of your right thigh. Reach your right hand all the way behind you for three, for two, for one, as you exhale, step your right foot down, hands to prayer. Sit low, let's take a twist, right elbow outside of your left knee so you face the front of your mat. One more full breath in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to the front of your mat. We turn, we step, we walk, or we jump to your plank. Take a vinyasa here, knees, chest, chin, half of full chaturanga. Slide forward, cobra or up dog. Exhale, curl the toes, downward dog. Let's bring your feet together. Inhale, lift the heels. Bend the knee. Now look forward. You can step, walk or jump to the top of your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the arms. Stay here or you can push your thigh forward. Lean back. Exhale, bring your hands to the side of your hips. From there, inhale, bend the knee, let your fingertips touch the floor. Lift the arms up, stay low, shift the weight to your heel, lift your ten toes up. Exhale, sit back and sweep the hands back to the side of your hips. 
One more time. Inhale, lift the arms up. Chair pose. Exhale, sweep it back. Nice. Inhale, sweep it up. Come all the way up. Stay here or lift the heart center. Lean back. Exhale, let's take a forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, palms flat. Step walk or jump plank. Take a vinyasa or not. Knees, chest, chin, half or full. Cobra or up dog. Exhale, curl the toes under, downward dog, walk your feet together. We're going to do all that, but a little bit faster. Lift the heels up. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, knee to your right elbow. Inhale, leg up. Knee to your left elbow. Inhale, leg up. Now, knee to your right shoulder, so go up really high. Inhale, leg up. Open the hip, bend the heel to your butt cheek, square your shoulders to the floor. Exhale, knee to nose, step your right foot between your hands. Take an inhale, full crescent moon, back heel lifts. Exhale, lean forward, left hand inside of your right foot. Let's open and twist. Right hand brings, comes inside of your right heel. Turn the left heel to the mat, side angle pose. Exhale, bring your left hand down. Walk yourself in front of your hips. Turn all ten toes to the left side of your mat. From there, as you exhale, lean forward. Maybe take your hands, still walk it to the middle of your feet into your, at your toe line. Take your hands, grab hold of your heel if you wish to. As you exhale, let's use that grip to bring your chest, lengthening your torso to the floor. In breath, lift the heart center. Walk your hands below your chest and you walk to the back of your mat. Back knee to the floor, flatten the foot. Inhale, lift both arms up, crescent moon. Exhale, hands to the floor, pull back, straighten your left leg, lift the heart center, exhale, take your half Hanumanasana, lengthen your chest down towards your left leg. Inhale, lift it back up. Now shift the weight forward, curl your back leg, lift the back knee off, ground the right heel down, facing the back of your mat, we come up to your warrior two, left leg bend. Right hand in front of your waist, lift your left hand up, reverse warrior. Inhale, come back, warrior two. Slide your left leg all the way to the front of your mat. Tree pose, bring that left heel inside of your right thigh. Take the option, hands to the back. Reverse prayer, both hands up. Or bring your, keep your hands to your heart center, stay here. Or maybe challenge yourself, lift the heart center as you push your hip and your right thigh to the front direction. Take a gentle back bend. Nice, inhale, come back, straighten the torso, take your left knee in front of your hips. Right hand outside of your thigh, or now right hand outside of your left foot. Reach your left hand to the back, take your option, maybe straighten the leg, maybe half straighten, maybe stay with your knees bent for three, two, one, slowly bring the leg back in, step the left foot down, hands to prayer. Exhale, take your twisted seated chair pose to the front of your mat direction. Keep twisting, stay here, option one, option two. Stick your left fingertips down to the floor, reach your right hand up. Option three, side crow. If you know what you're doing, you can attempt your side crow here. Just be careful of your surrounding for three. For two. For one, if your hands apart, side crow, bring your hands together, side crow, people come down. Then let's all turn to the front of your mat, step walk or jump plank. Take a vinyasa or not, knees, chest, chin, half or full chaturanga. Slide forward, cobra or up dog. Curl your toes under, lift the hips up, downward dog. Right, let's do the left side, bring your feet together, inhale, float your heels up. From there, lift your left leg up towards the ceiling. Exhale, knee to your left elbow. Inhale, leg up. Knee to your right elbow. Inhale, leg up. Knee to your left shoulder. So lift that knee up high, touch your left shoulder or your tricep. Inhale, leg up. Open the hip, bend the heel to your butt cheek, square your shoulders to the mat. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Keep your back heel lifted high, full crescent lunge. Exhale, right hand down inside of your left foot, reach your left hand up. Exhale, left hand inside of your left heel or on your left forearm on your left thigh, side angle pose. 
From there, bring your hands down, walk yourself to the middle of your hip level, turn your ten toes to the right side of your mat. Now soften your knees, engage the core, lift the chest up, bend the elbows, reach it to the back. Interlink your fingertips, fingers, roll the shoulders back, straighten to the elbows. From there, as you exhale, straighten into your legs, lean the chest forward, and maybe your hands come up and over your back. Lengthen the torso to your mat, crown of your head to the floor. If your head is touching the floor, walk your feet closer to each other. One more full breath in. Exhale. Now inhale, lift up halfway. Bend the elbows. Bring your hands back to the floor. Turn yourself to the back of your mat. All ten toes to the back of your mat. Back knee to the floor. Flatten the foot. Crescent moon. Keep the knee, left knee to the floor. Exhale, bring your both hands down. Let's pull back and take your half Hanumanasana. Lift the heart center. Exhale, lean forward. Curl your right toes. Feel that your right toes wants to reach to the crown of your head. Inhale, lift the heart center. Shift the weight back forward. Lift your back knee off. Turn your left heel down. Warrior two, right leg bent. Bend, still facing the back of your mat. Left hand in front of your chest. Right hand goes up. Reverse warrior. Inhale, reverse. Oh, sorry, warrior two. Slide your right leg in. Lighten the leg, take that right heel inside of your left thigh. Take the option, reverse prayer, hands over the head, hands to prayer, stay here, find your balance, then take the option from here to lift the heart center, maybe lean back, maybe not. One more full breath in, exhale, nice inhale, come back to center, exhale, bring that right knee in front of your hip left hand outside of your right thigh or take outside of your right foot open your chest to the right one thing at a time then maybe reach your hands to the back and maybe straighten your legs maybe not stay here for three two one inhale bend the knee exhale turn everything to the front step the right foot down hands to prayer sit low take your twisted seated chair pose facing the front of your mat Full breath in, exhale, inhale, stay here or extend your right fingertips outside of your left heel, open your left hand up. Stay here or take your side curl. Last three, two, one, slowly bring your hands down. Turn yourself to the front of your mat, step walk or jump to your plank. Take a vinyasa or not. And we all meet back in your downward dog. Nice, one more cycle and we do a quick floor work. From there, inhale, lift the heels. Come forward to your plank. Nice, right forearm down, left forearm down. Right palm push up, left palm push up. Exhale, left forearm down, right forearm down. Inhale, left palm push up, right palm push up. One more set. Exhale, right forearm down, left forearm down. Inhale, right palm push up, left palm push up. Last one. Left forearm down, right forearm down. Stay here, lift the heart center for three. Look over the top of your mat for two. For one, inhale, left palm push up, right palm push up. Exhale, downward dog. Feet together, inhale, lift the heels. Bend the knee, look forward. Step walk or jump, top of your mat. Exhale, take a forward fold. Inhale, lift the arms, come all the way up. Stay or lean back. Nice, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift up halfway. Now bend your knees, squeeze your toes, heels and thighs together, sit low, rest your chest onto your thigh, reach your hands to the front of the room, reach it up high towards the ceiling. With control, use your hands on the floor if you need to, exhale, sit low, sit low till you sit on the floor. Let's take your boat pose. Full breath in, exhale, go down low, inhale, come back up, 
exhale go down low inhale come back up two more exhale go low inhale up exhale go low stay here three two one inhale come back up cross your right leg over pull in hands to the floor step walker jump plank exhale downward dog inhale lift the heels bend the knee look forward step walker jump top of your mat exhale fold inhale come all the way up stay here or lift the heart center lean back exhale one more set sit low sit low bring your chest down to your thigh lift the arms up higher keep your chest planted to your thigh slowly with control sit all the way back down again back to your boat pose full breath in exhale go low inhale come back up cross your hands over your shoulders exhale go low take a twist to the right inhale center come back up exhale go low look over to your left center inhale come back up last set exhale down sorry inhale exhale to the right center oh lift it up ha oh, last one go down elbows to your left come back up lift it up cross your left heel on top pull it in hands to the top of your mat step walk or jump downward dog feet together lift the heels bend the knee look forward step walk or jump exhale fold lift the arms come all the way option stay or lean back back last set exhale fold inhale half lift ground the palms step walk or jump plank take a vinyasa or not we all need back in your downward dog feet together lift the heels right leg goes up knee to your right elbow inhale left, up knee to your left elbow inhale up exhale knee to your right wrist stay here take an inhale slide the knee all the way up to your shoulder from that lift the leg back up open the hip bend the heel to your butt cheek exhale step your right foot again forward crescent lunge exhale lean forward resting warrior stay here or shift the weight lift your back leg up warrior three for three two one take your left hand down open your right hand up towards the ceiling take your revolving half moon pose for three for two for one take your left leg back step it down take your right hand inside of your right heel turn your left heel to the floor back to your side angle pose slightly different transition exhale bring your hands to the floor walk it back to the center of your mat all ten toes to the left side of your mat take your left hand in front of your chest reach your right hand open your chest and twist to the front of your mat exhale bring your right hand down walk yourself to the back of your mat back knee to the floor flatten the foot crescent moon exhale bring your hands back down let's move your hips back and straighten your left leg again hanuman hanumanasana lift the heart center exhale lean forward those of you who want to slide down further to work on your splits or to go down into your splits go ahead and take it keep turning that right thigh to the floor left toes sticking up towards the ceiling stay here pause full breath in exhale one more inhale exhale nice inhale root your hand to the floor slide your left foot in move the weight back forward turn your right heel down we come up straight to your warrior two left leg is bent facing the back of your mat now take both hands up towards the ceiling let's take your reverse warrior both hands reaching to the front of your mat inhale come back up open the hands apart slide your left foot in back to your tree pose again bring that left heel inside of your right thigh take any option with your hands stay here or lift the heart center take a gentle back bend in your tree pose for three 
four, one. From there, step down to your chair pose. Take your left elbow outside of your right knee. Twisted seated chair pose. One more time. Stay here for three. For two. For one. Turn back to the front of your mat. Let's step your feet out to the width of your mat. Turn your toes up, heels in. Let's take your malasana hands to your heart center. Those of you who want to take your crow pose, go ahead. Your bakasana. The rest of you, stay with me here in your malasana. Pushing the elbows inside of your knees. Lengthen into your heart center. One more full breath in. Exhale. Nice. Inhale. Bring your hands down to the floor. Step, walk, or jump. Plank. Everyone come back down. Take your vinyasa or not. Right. Last set. Feet together. Inhale. Left leg goes up. Exhale. Knee to left elbow. Inhale. Leg goes up. Knee to your right. Inhale. Leg goes up. Knee to your left wrist. Stay here, slide it up to your shoulder. Then from there, lift the leg back up. Open the hip, bend the heel to your butt cheek. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands. Take an inhale, full crescent lunge. Exhale, lean forward. Stay here in your resting warrior or shift the weight. Bring the leg up, warrior three. One more full breath in. Exhale, inhale. Bring your right hand down, right below your shoulder. Take your left hand up, revolving half moon pose. Nice. From there, as you exhale, shift the weight back to your right foot. Right toes down. Take your left hand inside of your left heel. Ground your right heel down. Side angle pose. Exhale, bring your right hand down. Walk yourself to in front of your hips. Take your right palm in front of your chest. Open your left arm up towards the front of your mat. Nice, exhale, bring your left hand down. Let's walk to the back of your mat, lift the back heel off. Exhale, back knee down, flatten the foot, inhale, both arms up, crescent moon, let the hips come down heavy. Exhale, bring your hands down, pull back, half Hanumanasana, straighten your right leg, toes up, butt sticking away towards the back direction. Lean your torso forward, stay here or slide your leg down. Take your Hanumanasana into your full split. Work your way as far as it takes you. Let your hip go down heavy. Turn your left thigh down onto your mat. But keep the core engaged. Stay here. Three, two, one. Press your hands into the floor. Slide your right foot till you can ground your right foot to the floor. Bend your knee. Call your left foot under. Straighten your left leg up. Left heel down, warrior two, facing, still facing the back of your mat. Take an inhale, both arms lift to the side of your ears. Exhale, lean over to your left leg. Inhale, come back up. Open your arms apart, warrior two. Slide your right leg in. Lift the right leg, bring the heel back, tree pose. Any option here with your arms? Soften the belly in, flatten into that lower back. Stay or push your thigh, your hip forward, lift the heart center, take a gentle back bend. Nice, inhale, straighten up, step your right foot down. Exhale, take your twisted seated chair pose, facing to the front of your mat. Last three, stay here or open your hands apart. For two, for one, exhale, let's bring your hands down. Swivel your toes to the front, same thing. Let's step your feet out to the side. Toes out, heels in, malasana, second set. Those who want to try your arm balance, take your crow to your tripod if you have that. If not, try your crow. The rest of you, let's take your left arm pushing into your left shin. Stick your fingers out, let's reach your right hand up. Open your chest to the right. If you have a bind, take your bind here. Exhale, come back down. Other side, take your right tricep over your left shin. Reach your left hand up. Those of you with your crow pose, if you're up crow pose to tripod, slowly walk your way down. 
Meet us back in your malasana. Exhale, everyone come back up. Take an inhale, push your palms up towards the ceiling. Engage your core, use your legs, push it up, stand all the way up. Nice exhale, wiggle your feet in. From there, forward fold. Inhale, lift it up halfway. Exhale, palms flat, step walk or jump. One last vinyasa or skip it straight into your child's pose. If you're doing your vinyasa, finish in your downward dog, then very gently place your knees to the floor. Take the child's pose and pause.